Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, get the net! Get the net! <laughs> what is your PB, dude? What's up? My name's Eric, you're watching the Flow Bass channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for bringing your smiling faces to yet another video. Today I'm out here in the glades. It's the end of the day. It's not, <laughs> not the beginning, because I wasn't sure what kind of day I would have out here. I knew it was gonna be a grind, but we definitely caught some decent fish. Possibly broke my PB, as you guys saw. So you'll have to kind of just wait and see. Till then, I'm gonna grind it out with me and uh, yeah, we're gonna get on some awesome Everglades bass. They're like cheap to moderate. Yeah, it's if you want amazing. like a super awesome custom, like. Oh my God, get the net. No, it's not that big, but net. I just don't want to flip them with the bait. Sweet. Biggest one of the day so far. Yep. All right, got my buddy Steve Mitchell behind the camera. Just caught this nice, probably three pounder, about the same size as the one that Steve caught, but uh, didn't have my camera on, so you didn't see it. But got it on the seven inch Johan custom glide bait. So right there, that thing is such an awesome bait. Actually my first fish on this bait too, so really awesome. Just out here in the glades, getting it done. Nice one. All right, scale's on zero. Let's see what we got. Nothing huge, but all right, two pounds, 11 ounces. So I said three, so I was a little off, but quality fish, man. Hopefully we, we can get a bigger one. Looks like you got nipped by something here a little bit. A couple missing scales. Dude, it's banging a into all kinds of stuff. I don't have to do anything special. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, get the net, get the net. Steve, Steve. Dude, dude, dude. It's on your, it's on your rock. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, that's like an eight pounder. <laughs> your, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell what me. What is your PB, dude? My PB is 911. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Dude, that's unreal, though. All right, let's get her. Let's get her. Get it. Get the, I, don't, I can't speak, I'm so, okay, now that I'm up close to this fish, I can tell that it's a giant. That's a huge bag. All right, let's get her a drink real quick. Everglades giant, are you ready, guys? Oh my gosh. Just look at that behemoth. My net almost fell in the water. Guys, I mean this, I'm holding it close to me. This is no Monster Mike fish grip. Look at the size of this thing. We got a weight on it earlier, it was 813. All right, we've been letting her chill out in the net, just making sure she's revived and good to go. This fish has algae in her mouth. I mean, look at that bucket mouth, guys. You can fit my whole fist in that thing, that's insane. Steve was wondering if this was gonna be my PB. Unfortunately not. She definitely looks like she could be though, but my PB is 911. I caught that fish years ago, before I started YouTube. But I'll give you guys just one more look. It's just a monster fish. All right, girlfriend. There she goes. She's giving me a little shower on her way out. So. What I ended up doing was I was throwing the Big Easy for a while and I 
had like a couple nibbles, but not nothing fully committed. And then all of a sudden this wind came in and picked up. And I was thinking that the Big Easy just wasn't making enough vibration. Like they wouldn't notice it with all the wind. So I switched over to the Z-Man Jackhammer, which actually is right here. Bluegill color, Gambler uh, TZ trailer. Got it done. I mean, she reacted to it. There was a pile of wood. I mean, you guys saw in the video. She came right up and it was right at the boat and I was yelling and screaming for Steve to get the net. It's awesome. I don't know what I would have done if Steve wasn't here. That would have been pandemonium for sure, but I'm gonna get after it, keep throwing that jackhammer. I'm surprised, man. I mean, we've covered so much water since that and made so many casts. You'd think we'd get one. Oh. I got one. Okay, good, easy release. Not even concerned about it. Came off of this, actually this stick right here. So we might have to run the wood pattern. I don't know, can, can you guys even hear me? Maybe now, a little bit. Had the trolling motor on 10 and we were only doing like half a mile an hour. But yeah, still throwing. Still throwing the jackhammer. We've covered a lot of water since that uh, eight pounder. It's been close to an hour, would you say? Probably close, yeah, about close to an hour since that fish. Zero bites, except for that one you just saw. So it's a really difficult day. I can't even believe, oh, that's Scott. No, it's probably you, you texted me. Oh, that's true, you didn't get a text since I sent it. Zero bites after that except for that one you guys just saw it's really tough day i mean i didn't come out here expecting to catch a ton of fish i knew it'd be tough but with the amount of water we've covered you would think we'd get at least one or two bites but just keep grinding it out I got him still. I got him. I still got him. Yep, it's still it's still there. Come on, this is a witch doctor. I can rip it out of there. Ugh. There's a fish in that grass. It's not big. That's big. It's not small. It's a three and a half. No, three. Whew. Oh, I got a cramp in my bicep. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bass in here somewhere. Oh, we barely got him. Hey, buddy. Come down for oh just a minute. God. I mean, he was pinned, but we barely got him. Just in the corner of the mouth there. So, Steve said it was a three. We know this is just over two. But we'll <laughs> get a wait. He was covered in grass. <laughs> Tough day, but we're in a pretty good spot. We kind of found some grass. Scale's on zero. So, add this to the bag. 2.5. Ah. Okay. Two pounds, 12 ounces. All right, Bubba. Thanks for playing. So that last fish came on the live target, hollow body. Pretty standard frog. Definitely might need to beef it up for this grass, although the hook survived somehow. And then that's attached to a six foot eight extra heavy Witch Doctor Tackle Voodoo 2. Absolute beast of a rod. That thing might as well be a broomstick, but Kept them pinned. I was able to rip them out of the grass. Rod hand handled it great. And uh, that rod was actually recommended to me for fishing for peacocks in the Amazon. Chucking those big choppers and trying to catch 28 pound peacock. But works great for snakeheads. You've seen me use it before. Awesome in the grass for the frog. You just gotta, it's hard to cast because it has absolutely no tip whatsoever. But getting the job done. Steve over here still killing the numbers game. He's got about six fish in the boat to my three. So, but. That's all right, we're out here figuring it out in the glades, just finding some big open flats now and uh, getting it done. Oh, he's got one. You want the net? All right, bring him this way. Nice, we can add it to our bag. It's not a small fish. No. Probably <laughs> he jumped right in the net. There you go. Nice. We can add that to our bag, man. Good job. 
What was that on the uh, chatterbait? Chatterbait. Ooh. He smoked it too. Nice. I know the grass is a lot more sparse here. About the same size as the one this morning. Yeah, that's dude. That's like a good like. That's high twos. Yeah. Not bad. I just saw those sticks out in front of me. Not huge. Oh, just came off too. Jump, don't jump out of the boat. So, officially on the board, 1.9 ounce, one, one pound nine ounce. Real short, but stumpy fish. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see that there. Uh, a little pee might have came out. Oh! Big? Let me, don't reel them in too fast. Okay, decent. Decent. Yeah, good job on the hook set. Two, ten. Yeah, he gets rid of that. Two eleven. Gets rid of that dink what that I, I caught. <sighs> All right, guys. So we're back where I <laughs> did the intro. It was such a grind today, but we definitely it definitely paid off, especially with that eight pounder. Uh, such a great fish. You know, I was discussing it with Steve how a uh, fish of that caliber they just look so different. It's just it's they're amazing to look at. It's just a completely different class of fish. Oof, my knees are killing me. Not like what they used to be. So we're wrapping things up. We've got about 20 more minutes of usable light, so we're gonna continue fishing, and I'll definitely check back in with uh, those catches if we get on a few giants here at the end. If not, I appreciate you guys watching so much. Make sure to bring those smiling faces in the next video. I'll be looking for them. Till then, get out there, find some inspiration, go catch some big, fat, Everglades bass. Till then, see you later. Peace.